Oh my gosh, so cute. I love musk turtles. Musk turtles are just, ugh, oh, they're such a fun species. What is up guys, it is the turtle girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Lots of fish in the tank behind me. We actually added three more adult platies, so that's a fun little update. But today we are going to be reacting to some musk turtle tanks, just like the musk turtles I have in this tank behind me. I'm super duper excited. There's some really great setups, so we're just gonna jump right into it. This first tank comes from Avery in Georgia and is home to Jimmy the Musk Turtle. It's a 40 gallon, and let me just say, we are starting off really, really strong. This is a beautiful tank. It has a very natural appearance, even though it's mostly made up of fake plants. Is it fake plants? I think it is fake plants. Anyway, I think you executed this beautifully, especially with this big log kind of reaching across. It hits the bottom, but then it arches up. So it's like the turtle could rest all the way up to the top of the tank where the basking area is in the corner. You have your UVB and UVA lights provided on that side. And although this is not a video, and by any means I can't really, you know, determine the behavior of your turtle just by a photo, I can tell that you were able to capture these where the turtle was swimming at the front of the tank, even with this little photo of like, warning, attack turtle. This kind of tells me that your turtle is likely comfortable in its space, so they're not afraid to swim to the front of the tank, which is really, really great to see. This is great, Avery, thank you so much. This next tank is from Felix in Germany, and I'm very much getting like, Stonehenge vibes because it's all hardscape, it's all rocks, and then you have the sand in the bottom, as well as some really cool ambient lighting. I think that looks super duper neat. You've got two musk turtles in here and then a basking area off to the left-hand side and a canister filter is running. You said this tank is approximately 60 to 75 gallons. So for two musk turtles, I think this is of an excellent size. I really, really like how you've decided to just use one medium of decorations for this tank with the rocks. The clarity and the cleanliness of the tank looks immaculate and I bet your turtles have a really fun time cruising around this tank. You'll see with a lot of musk turtle tanks that they'll be shallower like this because it's said that musk turtles, you know, are not as good swimmers. So I'm glad you are accommodating that. If you do decide to raise the water level more because you need more water volume for some reason, then just make sure you know you add more decorations reaching to the top. The other thing I wanted to point out is you don't have basking lights above your basking area. Although musk turtles are not turtles that bask very often. It's my personal opinion that it is still a good thing to provide so that they have access to it should they want it. I'm not sure if any of the other lights above your aquarium provide that, so that's just something I wanted to point out. Iris from Belgium, here we go. Wow, this is super clean. This next tank is from Iris in Belgium with a turtle named Shelby. First off, this is an incredibly clean looking setup with like the rimless tank and the bare bottom and the rocks and the minimal decor and the little white basking lamp in your little white basking area. I feel like you could see this in someone's apartment and it's just a very cool look. You've got your filter on the left side, your heater on the right, and you do have a hatchling turtle. I would reckon that you have maybe five gallons, maybe 10 gallons, depending on the size of this enclosure. Your turtle is super duper cute. I will say that while simple definitely has its perks aesthetically, for the turtle, they may want to have more to interact with in their tank, more decorations. But the first priority is having a good habitat for the animal. Not saying you aren't achieving that here, but I think that more decorations would definitely be more natural. For your turtle. However, I'm really glad to see you have all your basics covered with your basking area, your filter, your heater, making sure your turtle does have a comfortable life here. As the turtle grows, you may need to upgrade them to give them more space to swim around. I do have to say though, I am very much a fan of this super clean look and I look forward to seeing what you do with it in the future. What? Oh my gosh, I wish I had another photo of this tank. This is just incredible. Next up is this setup from Mike in the Netherlands. <laughs> Apparently we have a lot of international submissions today, which is super duper cool. I love hearing from you guys all around the world. In fact, if you are watching this from somewhere around the world, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. Anyway, this tank is super duper cool. It's almost of a paludarium style. You have the bottom area with the water and then kind of reaching up, you have a sandy area. It looks like there's some sort of background on the back. I can't tell if it's 3D or if it's just paper, but it definitely 
adds to the depth and dimension of the tank. You've got a canister filter running on here, which is great. It looks like you've got your basking area in the corner and you actually hid some of the lights using some of the foliage from the plants that you have sitting on top of the tank. This very much feels like a centerpiece of a room, something you come in and look at every single day. And I just am really enjoying this setup. I only have this one photo. I wish I had more, but thank you so much for sharing, Mike. Again from the Netherlands. We have so many people from the Netherlands who have musk turtles. Let me know if that's like a regulation thing or because that's just a common species that's captive bred or they just import a lot. So I don't know if like musk turtles are just a common species in other countries. Let me know in the comments. So here's another great musk turtle tank from Joelle in the Netherlands, home to Charlie the musk turtle. I believe this is a 40 gallon. And you have actually two different photos from different decorations. I'm not sure which is more current, but I love that you have kind of the varied substrate so on the left side, we kind of have a sandy area mixed with some river rock pebbles. And then on the right side, it looks almost like tile. And then that's the rest of the substrate. I think that's definitely a good mix with having texture on the bottom, but also making it easy to clean because imagine how easy it would be to gravel vac that tile. Love your use of color and live plants as well as the background on the back. I think adding a background really adds depth and dimension to the tank. I mean, I want to talk. I don't really have a, a background on this tank, but maybe I'll have to try one out. You guys are kind of inspiring me. You've got a heater in there. You are on Celsius, so you have it at 27 degrees in order to keep it nice and warm for little Charlie, as well as your basking area on the left-hand side. I think you'll notice a trend. Owners tend to use floating platforms as opposed to above tank basking areas, just because they're easier for musk turtles to access. And like we've mentioned, musk turtles tend not to go all the way out to bask. They might be a little bit shyer. So that's really good to see. What? That's pretty cool. Here is a 75 gallon tank from John in California. This is an absolutely massive tank for your little musk turtle here, but I love to see that he has so much space. And the main thing I actually wanted to point out here was your cinder block stand. A lot of people sometimes wonder, how are you going to put your tank on a stand? Because obviously water is really heavy. You want something to be able to support that. Now, stands can be kind of expensive in the aquarium world because they have to be built super sturdy so that they can support this large volume of water. However, there are definitely ways to do it inexpensively, as you can see here. Basically, it's just a bunch of cinder blocks with some sheets of wood in between. So it's really cool that you did this kind of stand for your musk turtle tank. You've got all kinds of rock structures for your turtle to climb around on, as well as a bunch of filtration. I see two hang on back filters in the back. You've got your basking area in the right. The thing here is that this tank is definitely pretty deep water. And like we've already discussed, musk turtles may or may not be the best swimmers, you know? And so if you are going to have a deeper tank, it's a good idea to have decorations reaching up towards the top, kind of all throughout the tank. It seems like the middle, maybe a nice, like really long, really big piece of wood would be just like the perfect centerpiece and give your turtle something to hold on to as they're swimming to the surface. Another John, we just have people that have like the same names, the same countries. This is really great. So this next tank is from John in Texas and it is home to, of course, a musk turtle. This looks like about a 20 gallon long and I don't see the turtle in here. I think you only included one photo. You've got your basking area on the left as well as some decorations filling in the middle. You've got pebbles on the bottom as well as it looks like you have probably a canister filter because I see the spray bar in the back. So that's good that you have good filtration. Again, we kind of have shallower water in this tank, which definitely works for a hatchling. I will say that for an adult musk turtle, I definitely like to see more of a 20 gallon long filled all the way up so that they do have more swimming space um, and maybe like extending the top in some way so that you can still have a floating basking platform because you probably have only about 10 gallons of water in here which is fine for hatchling but as they get bigger more swimming space more water volume to dilute waste that kind of thing is always a good thing i do really like your choice of decorations though oh my gosh another john is this not the same john john you submitted your tank twice what are you doing why would you do such a thing Next up is a musk turtle tank from a subscriber in the US. This is a very, very simple setup. Internal filter on the right, sand substrate. I would say this might be like a 20 gallon high. It could potentially be maybe even like a 15 gallon. I, I don't think it's a 10 gallon though because it's a little bit taller than that. The first thing I wanna point out here is that 
even though musk turtles don't always bask, it's very good to make sure that they do have a space to get dry if they want to. I noticed with that one decoration you have on the left, it's actually submerged all the way. So there's nowhere in this tank where the turtle can get out of the water. That's definitely very, very important. Also, water volume wise, this does look a little small. If possible, I'm sure your turtle would appreciate having more space to swim or even just filling the water volume up more and then providing some kind of floating basking dock and then along with that, perhaps some more decorations to kind of fill in the space, allow them to be enriched. Remember that when we take turtles as pets, it's our responsibility to provide them with the proper care, making sure they have everything they need to have a good quality of life. And so I think with some more space or perhaps more water volume and a basking area, you could definitely be taking steps to improve that. So I wish you the best of luck with this and your turtle is super cute. This is from Joy and it is home to a juvenile musk turtle named Franklin. There's also guppies, ghost shrimp, and snails in this tank. The live plants were eaten by the turtle, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and I believe this is a 20 gallon long, oh no, maybe it's a 40 gallon breeder perhaps. Anyway, in this tank you can see river rocks on the bottom, a really large basking area on the left hand side, internal filter, a lot of times with these shallower water tanks, you'll see that many people use internal filters because they can be more convenient. Although in my opinion, you know, they take up space in the tank, which the turtle could be using for swimming. So that's just, you know, a random thought. It's really cool that you have tank mates in here. I'm super duper excited that I've been able to keep so many platies in the tank with the musk turtles. So glad to see that you are taking advantage of that. I will say this basking area seems pretty oversized for a tank of this size, especially given that musk turtles are not a species that bask very often. So that could be something you could potentially look into downsizing so that basically this whole left half of the tank could maybe have some more light, some more space to swim. However, I will say that it's really cool that you do have this photo of your turtle basking. It's good to see that they're taking advantage of that. And again, just like I say with all of these videos, react videos that I make, Anything I share is just my opinion. You're more than welcome to take it or leave it how you will. This tank is home to Tobias the musk turtle and comes from Sophia in Chicago, Illinois. Love this setup, love the texture of the rocks on the bottom, the wood in the middle, as well as some fake plants. You mentioned that you are looking to upgrade your turtle, which is great. He is so cute. Your turtle is adorable. I love this little photo of him. You've got your basking area in the middle, as well as two filters running on this tank. I think that's really great to create circulation in the tank and your water clarity looks great. So it's definitely working. Really not much to critique here. I'm just super excited to hear that you're upgrading and I hope that Tobias enjoys it. This tank is from Morgan in England. It is home to a musk turtle called Tiny Tim. Super duper cute name. They don't know the size of the tank, but based on like the size of the UV lamp, I'm gonna guess that you probably have 10 gallons, maybe 15 gallons of water in this tank. It is rimless, so it looks really cool. I love to see the larger pebbles. Your turtles are definitely not gonna be able to eat that. And then you have your basking area off to the right. For me personally, I would actually move your basking light a little bit closer to the basking area. Musk turtles actually often get their UVB rays more from just like floating right at the surface of the water as opposed to actually coming out to bask. But even if you just focus the light right above the part where the ramp is going into the water, the turtle might like rest on the ramp but not come completely out. But that way they still get their UVB. You've got a small internal filter in here as well as some snails. So that is really, really cool. Overall, I really love your little setup. All right, so Anthony here in England has this yellow lab and musk turtle tank. Yellow lab is not a dog. It's actually a species of African cichlid. Uh, you can kind of see them in the front. They're a super cool fish. Um, but this tank is just awesome. I love that your turtle has so much space and you've said no casualties thus far with the turtle trying to hunt down the fish. So I'm glad that they, they are coexisting peacefully. You got some cool texture going on with the rocks as well as this beautiful centerpiece of wood in the middle that the turtle can climb on. I think that's definitely helpful, especially when the water level is deeper like this. You've got your basking area for the turtle off to the left side with your UVB lights, which is great. I can just imagine your yellow labs all schooling together and just, you know, swimming around the tank with the musk turtle, you know, making his way around there as well. This is just super duper cool. I love to see that your turtle has this much space. You mentioned adding some more plants and other decorations in the future. So two thumbs up from me. Alfie from Scotland. Wow, Scotland, we love Scotland. I want to go to Scotland one day. 
If someone wants to sponsor a plane ticket, I would go there in a heartbeat. This tank is from Alfie in Scotland, and it is a Lake Malawi cichlid tank with a female musk turtle named Tide. Tide is just a great name for a musk turtle. I really love that name. Anyway, enough about the discussion about names. This is a very simple tank, rimless. You've got the basking area on the left, as well as this nice big piece of maybe coral. I don't know if it's real or fake, but this big rock here in the middle of the tank, kind of where your fish swim around. I will say more like line of sight breaking up might make Tide feel a bit more secure in this tank, more decorations, that kind of thing. But it does look very aesthetically pleasing. Maybe even some wood or something like that would just benefit to her feeling more secure in the tank but it's really cool that you are able to cohabitate them and have both the cichlids and the musk turtle together I'm also a really big fan of the white sand I think it creates a lot of contrast and it makes it easy to see the turtle so that's super cool this one comes from Lindsay in Texas it's a 40 gallon breeder there's actually a clear basking area which was kind of hard to see at first but your turtle does have a space to come out of the water you've got a power filter on the right hand side and it looks like one of those special tanks where there's actually a cutout so so that there's not as much splashing so that's pretty cool that you have that it's definitely very simple i like your river rocks on the bottom might be cool to see some overhead lighting so that the tank itself is more illuminated and then also of course more decorations i'm always going to say this that's my mantra your tank looks really clean which is awesome um but again i think more lighting would also help you enjoy the tank better because you'd be able to see more inside it so those are all the tanks that i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed seeing there were some really really cool musk turtle tanks they all kind of had a similar vibe like water filled halfway an internal filter going in the back a floating basking dock and I just think musks are great little turtles so if you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to drop a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next Friday have a totally awesome day